Hello and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 2 with me, Matthew Caddis. Eee -e -e Poogie. So, today we are going to um, get one last thing here in on planet Tabora, and that is the glider. Yes, it is one that is easily missed. Especially by myself. Especially by myself, because the glider is located in an area that is to, um, through here. So it's down a very narrow pathway. And we will have to make use of the Terminator here as well in order to get it. And also, if you want, you can get an easy titanium bolt as well. Yes, so, um, firstly, I want to indeed choose the Terminator and um, use it to freeze this water here. And then make my way over this way and um, pull up get rid of the flies and um, generally um, make a mess of things. Yep, that's going to be it. And then move this downwards and freeze it up. So yeah, and we do want the, the last of the three platforms here on this seesaw platform to be in the downward position so we can uh, move upward. Again, if it's too small, just use the helipack, that's fine. And there are also two more of these uh, things. So I'm just going to try and blow up the enemies here. So I can actually um, just easily freeze it. Ooh, these stupid, creepy crawler things. I don't know what to call them! So yeah, they're just going to be creepy crawlers if you ask me. But my humble opinion. So that um, that is now frozen. Yeah. Defying the laws of physics because I don't think water can be frozen at that temp. I don't know. I don't know what temperature it's frozen at, but moving water, um, it will take a lot more than that to freeze. It would have to be really, really cold to do that, like sub zero. Seriously. Anyway, that being said, let's get rid of Mr. Crawley here. And then we have to jump over a gap here, a very deep gap, and if we don't do it, we would fall into the lava below. Yes, there is lava on um, this desert planet. Seriously? And then blow up the... Um, well, no, I'm just going to use the um, Seeker gun. Because once it gets is fully evolved form, or fully leveled up form, uh, yeah, we want that. Anyway, this is the glider. This will allow us to, as its name suggests, glide through the air. However, it can easily be um, shattered. It controls pretty well, honestly. However, if you hit anything, it automatically nose dives. Seriously. Seriously, I think the R wings in, uh, sc um, in Star Fox made of tougher stuff than this thing. Seriously. I hate to think what it'd be like if you did go through like, anything like this, but yeah. If anything, it reminds me of those Blizzard levels in Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy 2, that is. Yes, um, although, unlike with Blizzard, you can still glide upwards with the glider. So, yeah, maybe that's an unfair comparison, but there you go. So, and also, Blizzard, although to Blizzard's credit, um, it does uh, do that. At the very end of here, we can get another uh, Platinum Vault. And so, with that done, we can now go to the next planet, which, um, well, we'll see in a moment. So, yeah. So, let's go back to our now rebuilt ship. And do I want to buy anything? Well, I don't know. Well, never mind. We're going to the next planet. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to Behind the Hero after these messages. <laughs> what a nut! I almost miss that guy sometimes. Almost. And believe it or not, Quark's story, well, 
I won't say any more, but it's very important because there are slight little nods within the game as to what happened to Captain Quark after Ratchet and Clank beat him. Um, of course, through the fine bit, um, and here. Anyway, off screen, I got over 60,000 bolts. Why? Because over here towards the left of the um, weapon vendor is an army vendor. Um, no, an armor vendor. Army vendor? Um, no, armor vendor. So, yeah. And we will get our first piece of armor here in um, uh, Planet Dobo. So, yeah, it costs um, 25,000 bolts. So, yeah. I am glad I did the extra homework on Planet uh, Tabora in order to get it. However, I still have enough for another weapon, so let's see. Yeah, mini turret glove. Definitely buying that. Definitely buying that. So, next we want to go on to, um, well, um, this area here with the robot dogs. Now, um, there is a reason I bought the armor. Uh, the robot dogs do not pose too much of a threat, as I say. In fact, they can easily be taken out with the mini turret glove. Although I play, in, although having said that, with the mini turret glove, it depends on where you place it, and and it works fine as a secondary weapon, but it does need um, another weapon with it. Although having said that, do I want the pulse rifle? Well, yes, I do. I will use that in order to sneak up on these trooper guys. Now, it's a good thing I did buy that um, armor upgrade because otherwise it would be much harder to deal with these guys. I still want to use the, um, um, the likes of the pulse rifle with them if I can so I can thin out their horde because, yeah, it does help. It really does help with these guys, seriously. And there will be more armor to buy a little later. The next lot costs about... A a hundred thousand bolts and it comes as a very tough area in the game I'm not gonna say any more than that anyway that being said we will need the dynamo here yeah so let's put it in our quick select so no, oh, that's the tractor beam not the dynamo so I might well have to replace the tractor beam with the dynamo or um, or another gadget I don't know but I am gonna replace the tractor beam with the dynamo so, in order to power up these um, generators here, I will also get some more nanotech, even though it's the pink variety that does heal a bit more than the blue. Um, so, let's see. There we go. And indeed, power up the second one. There we go, indeed. And I don't want these dogs biting my ass, so I'll use the Omni wrench to get rid of them. Okay, so there are a few troopers up here. Let's see, I'll go with the mini turret glove um, and hope they don't shoot me on my way up. And I suppose that, yeah, blitz cannon, that works. Um, it doesn't, and over there is an armored tank, which as well, if I didn't upgrade my armor, would easily take a few, a fair few shots out of Ratchet, seriously. And the annoying thing about these things is that they are relentless as hell seriously so i want to shoot it down with the pulse rifle it takes about i think three shots with that um less than say with um, the busy bomb gun i mean those tanks um, no maybe about the same although the aiming is a bit better with the uh, pulse rifle than with the busy bomb gun um if we're going to compare um although the range isn't yes the range is isn't nearly as good as with the Vizzy Bomb Gun in Ratchet and Clank 1. And if I'd used the Vizzy Bomb Gun here, it would have taken a lot more shots to take down one of those things, just saying. So yeah, I am going to use the Blitz Cannon in here. Short range weapon, so a pretty good bit of short range weapon. Uh, if anything that does let me down in these close spaces here on uh, Planet Dobo, it is the, um, it is the camera. In fact, in any of these sort of games, because they all run on the same engine as Ratchet and Clank 1. Um, although, having said that, this runs at a better frame rate than Ratchet and Clank 1, I will give it that. I compare it to the PS2 version, not the PS3 or PS4 version, or the remake. So, yeah. I think the remake 
Certainly on my console, it runs at about 30 frames per second, so, so yeah. yeah. So, let's indeed think. The Seeker Gun isn't that bad, actually. I could use it for something better, but there you go. So, let's go up here and uh, blow the living crap out of you, mate. Seriously. You don't want to do that. So now I'll switch to the swing shot, get over there, and then there's this. A bunch of these troopers are coming in, so I want to use the military glove. Of course, shoot them full of bullets. What else? Um, not sure. Not sure, man. Uh, oh, I could use the mini nuke. Yeah, that works. There's also some more nanotech below if you need it. And thankfully, we don't have to worry about them kicking our ass yet. I say that for now. We, uh, we will deal with a much stronger breed of troopers later. Um, and I'm not going to say on which planet because that's towards the end of the game. Yes, the end of the game. So, yeah. Down here are some robot dogs. However, yeah, I'm, I did bring out a mini nuke. So, yeah. I'm easily recouping a lot of my... Um, um, Bolts. As I say, I did come prepared this time by by clearing out most of uh, Planet Tabora's, um, dare I say, um, hordes of, um, of moon crystals and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so I want to use this. And... Hmm. Okay, so there are a bunch of these guys. Well, uh, shoot me in the back if you must. I suppose I could have... Uh, well, actually, no. No, there are... I don't think there are any Megacult vendors around here, so... Uh, that is weapons vendors. However, there is some nanotech, so that's good. So let's go up here, get rid of the troopers. Again, I'm... <laughs> I am using the multi-star in a very close space. Long-range weapons are not good for that in these games, seriously. And then swing shot over, and let's see, multi-star, yeah, you have a targeting reticle, you are fair game, mate, you are fair game. So, let's see, more, now I believe a um, tank will come and um, ambush us here, let's see if I'm right. Um, maybe, don't know, but looks like it. Okay, so there we go, and indeed, let's switch to the swing shot. Now, I probably have to use L1 to aim. Either that or just do that. I wish I had done that, but maybe I wish I didn't because those guys are filling me full of lead. That's why. So, let's go up here, and I've got a few more pulse rifle ammo. Yeah, I think I did it wrong with the... Seriously, man. Shouldn't have been through there. Anyway, back to the thing, and let's see. Is there any more uh, thing? No, yeah, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. So swing over there. You get the idea. Yeah, that works. That bloody well works. Mm-hmm. So, empty room. Empty room. That is my um, bread and butter, isn't it? Well, in that case, let's uh, power these up. And indeed, where do we actually want to go? Because that one's a red herring. Just like on the uh, planet of Redia. Well, we want to use... Well, yes, we do, actually. Because over here is a washed-up wrestler by the name of the Mathematician. And no joke, that is actually his name. Tell the good names were taken. Watch your mouth, Zero, before the mathematician subtracts your head from your shoulders. Sir, as a fellow number cruncher, could I please ask what this is all about? That moon's where we divide losers from winners before adding them to the Megacorp games. There's a challenger up there ready to reduce you to nothing. Hmm, this technology looks familiar. Perhaps I could... Sweet. Think you can get us to that moon? Hey! Remember us?
I don't know, the thug leader doesn't get much um, character development. Anyway, yeah, the thugs for less leader is up here in a giant mech. And what we want to do is kick the living crap out of him using our weapons. Now, Giant Clank has been given a huge upgrade from, um, the, say, the first Ratchet and Clank game. Um, yes, he can still fire missiles like before and still punch. The difference is he can now use these giant energy bombs. So, yeah, and they will lock on to any nearby enemy. Um, I prefer to use them on... Um, other enemies as I say so yeah it's big although that does come up as come up against um, the fact that he has now lost his energy blast so yeah so uh, you we can however get various health back by destroying many of the buildings here seriously I don't know how many people live on this moon but um, we've done a lot of property damage just saying so, let's see. Can we um, find him? I don't know. Um, maybe... Yeah. You can't always see where he is because he does like to keep his distance, does the thug leader. Yeah, for a guy who keeps saying, bring it on. Um, so does like to um, keep his distance, doesn't he? I don't think it's down to you know what. So, yeah. He will jump in the air, launch missiles at you. And try and lunge at you as well. So this is a battle of, I guess, uh, who um, let us, lets down um, who for the uh, thing. Now the screen just turned red there. That is the um, thug leader's special move. It's kind of similar to how uh, Clank actually did his special move in um, thing. But there you go. Um, so let's go with that and. Um, Indeed, um, blow some more out of him. I don't know, I can't think of anything. Um, you will, however, be targeted by these, I guess, um, helicopters? I don't know why um, helicopters are wanting to take down Clank. Maybe they think he's the enemy. Or maybe um, because, um, unbeknownst to Ratchet and Clank, the Thugs for Less are now working for Mr. Fizz Widget. Maybe he hired them? Yeah, that isn't much of a, too much of a stretch, isn't it? Especially since, um, um, we did give him the proto-pet and now, um, even though, um, 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 well, we're now working, but, uh, he does not know, well, maybe he does know, maybe we were of no use to him, as I say, with the proto-pet, so, yeah, uh, Oh, there we go. And Clank's jump is really high, seriously. I don't know if it could jump that high in um, Ratchet and Clank 1, but yeah. And as ever, the um, pressing the R3 button will switch you to what I like to call Map View. My humble opinion. Uh, but Map View is very good, actually, for finding bosses. Much better than uh, when we did it on the, as I say, the um, Mactan um, jamming array, shall we say. So, let's see. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, in fact, he's just using a bomb there. And no, I don't want to waste my bombs on him yet. No, I do not. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if the... Um, the boss is doing that or not, but there you go. So where is he? I don't know, but I might need some more um, um, health, shall we say. I believe you can get some from the um, from the helicopters, but um, don't quote me on that. And I've reduced much of the, the planet there. Serious, or the moon at least, so yeah. Yeah, good luck finding another challenger for the Mega Corp games now. Especially since we have um, pretty much decimated the Thug Leader. Don't know if he was supposed to be the challenger, but never mind. Anyway, let's get back to the mathematician! And this isn't the last we'll see of the Thug Leader, by the way. No, it isn't. No. And prepare for more punnage.
big cocker, huh? Hey, guess you guys were prime after all. You're going to the Megacorp Games! Welcome to Megacorp Games, sponsored by Megacorp. Okay, Megacorp contestants, get ready to grapple with our Megacorp Gladiator team. And if you survive that, enter the Megacorp Battle Arena with our Mega Spider Bomb and our Mega Death Defying Mega Cage Match. <laughs> then open the throttle for the all Megacorp Hover Bag Race, brought to you by Team Megacorp Racing. Hustle Indigenous Population Not Owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. <laughs> Approach to your own risk. The Megacorp Games, keep it mega.